You're good. All right, coach. Our um, <clears throat> next one, we've called this tough to defend. And I'm going to give you three baseline out of bounds situations. And so your start would be the toughest to defend. So uh, the first situation is, I guess a, a screen the screener action where they're running the shooter to the opposite corner away from yeah. uh, the inbounder. Yeah. yeah. The second one would be kind of that back screen, but with tempo where they, whether it's a small and a big or a big setting for a small, yeah. or they're coming with pace and setting that back screen. And then the last one would be where they kind of run a get action for the inbounder or the inbounder throws ah, it you know, and runs okay. and sprints off the handoff. A very good question. Um, I think all of them are like, this is a, a, a clearly tactical topic. Yeah. All of them are difficult to defend if you're not prepared. All of them are very much defendable if you're prepared. And um, this to me is a clear scouting report. Uh, I always uh, scout sideline and baseline. We always add them to the to the <clears throat> scout, you know, and walk them through uh, like the key baseline and the key sideline. I think it makes sense because the sideline and baseline package of teams, like obviously, is not like humongous, right? You can easily figure out what's the main. Mm -hmm. Most often, you can figure out what's the main thing, and. So the first, so I, I hope this answers the question. You know, I think with the first one, which is very often a, a late shot clock uh, out of bounds, right? No. Uh, with the with the shooter running to the opposite corner, I think from a tactical standpoint, there's a lot to be said to, you know, squeeze the screener up and cut as a defender of the shooter mm -hmm. and cut shoot the gap basically so the pass cannot be strung through the you know along yeah. the baseline from a tactical standpoint you know now again the better the opponents are the more the shooter who comes to the corner if he sees you're like shortcutting it on the baseline side will just pop up yeah. towards the key um, <clears throat> and now you talk about quality of players but again that's how I do it uh, the second one the second one to me with the back pick action uh, right down down to the rim, right? And then something following. I always like to uh, have the guy who's cutting towards the rim, the defender of him, pushing the offensive guy towards the basketball, like towards the inbounder and having the screener squeeze in the opposite side. So... Mm -hmm you kind of breaking up that screen and then hopefully um, damage is taken away. And then I think on the third one, uh, the, the biggest key, um, the biggest key is to trail out uh, the inbounder who's coming into the handoff, you know, and again, uh, you know, it's no rocket science, but it is tactical preparation. And if you are not prepared for it, it will catch you. And that's what it is. And you'll have to live with some stuff because you can't cover everything. But that's a good question. <laughs> that's good <Okay>. stuff. <laughs> and also, you know what's interesting, by the way, how from a tactical standpoint uh, in the US, there's not a lot of baseline inbounding. Like just from a, yeah. right, the, the rules, like, a foul on the floor that gives you a baseline inbound in Europe gives you a sideline inbound in, in, in the U.S. So uh, you you get away uh, as you build your offensive package in America with much less baseline inbounds than than here because there are not as many baseline inbounds. Uh, your thoughts on what you do with the defender guarding the inbounder on baseline out of bounds, whether yeah. it's on the ball, off the ball. <laughs> Where generally is speaking, I generally speaking, I want him to take a step back and protect the rim. Okay. That's that's where it starts. And A, B, there will be situations where he starts from protecting the rim and then shifts to the outside if the play is made to the ball side corner. But it always starts with protecting the rim. And then the third one, I would say, because teams do also switch players on baseline inbounds from the inbounder. I do not like to do that. In the past, it always, like, we always mess things up. I don't like it. I like it more on the sidelines, but not so much on the baseline. 
Okay. And, and my other question is, I guess, and it would depend on your team and whatnot, but just in general, um, a lot of like the screen, the screener actions or these kind of t- like these difficult actions to guard on the baseline um, is a base defensive coverage. Are you switching a lot of the stuff? Are you trying to stay attached and forcing to an area? I, I guess it's going to yeah. be dependent on yeah. the, on the set. Stay but attached and forced to an area. Like, okay. <clears throat> generally speaking, um, you know, that's me. And sure. that has okay. been my, the, my past. Um, if you are capable of, of switching those things, probably nice. Theoretically, I've not, uh, I've not, I haven't done it. Um, I haven't got a lot of experience with switching off ball screens, uh, much like more with on ball screens, but, but not so much with off ball screens. So, yeah. Okay. Great. Coach. And my last follow-up is just, I mean, I know it's an effective strategy, but weighing whether you should just, we zone all baseline inbounds, you know, rather than trying to scout it and, you know, figure out these complicated, it's like, we're going to zone and just becoming a zone baseline out of bounds team. What goes into your thoughts there? I've never done it, but I've also, I haven't played too much zone in the past. Um, So maybe a philosophical thing, right? But uh, teams do it. Right? Yeah. Teams do it. And um, to be honest, interestingly enough, I think the higher the level gets, the less they do it. Um, for whatever reason. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, and again, it then it comes down to scouting, right? So mm-hmm. if we know and that's an easy one, if we know a defense is uh, zoning on the baseline, which you know has happened, then well, then we'll prepare our baseline zone inbound and yeah. go from there, you know? So uh, unfortunately, I want to say it, it, it comes down to scouting a lot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You don't want it to, you know, and it's a fine line, like especially with so many games coming, uh, you don't want to go scout, scout, scout. It turns into mumbo jumbo and you, you know, all the thumb ups, thumb downs, and three downs and three motions, you just like, you lose it. And I think you've got to stay true to what you do and take care to like, you know, like always touch it to what you do in order to do it well. But at the end of the day, a lot of scouting, 